Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator. Uh, so here we write this into the simplified form. Uh, so the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we rewrite uh, the left hand side as. So you see here this is 16 to the power of 5 and uh, we know that we write 2 to the power of 4 is equals to 16. Okay. We know that 2 to the power 4 equals 16. We replace these two 16s equals to 2 to the power of 4. So it will be written as 2 to the power of 4 and its power 5 minus 2 to the power of 4 and its exponent is 4. Okay. So after that, here we need to use this nice exponential law. If we have a to the power of m to the power of n, it is equals to a to the power of m times of n. Here we use this nice exponential law on both of these terms. So it will be written as 2 to the power of 4 times of 5 becomes 20 minus 2 to the power of 4 times of 4 becomes 16. Okay. So after this step here, uh, we need to break this 2 to the power of 20 and we write it as in this form. So we write this 2 to the power of 20 as 16 plus 4. We know that 2 to the power of, uh, we know that 20 is written as 16 plus 4 minus, this is 2 to the power of 16. And now after that here we need to again break this nice uh, term. So we write it as, if you have a to the power of m plus n, it is equals to a to the power of m times of a to the power of n. Here we use this nice rule. Uh, in the first term so that our first term is written as 2 to the power of 16 into 2 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 16 okay after that here we need to take common 2 to the power of 16 uh, so when you take common 2 to the power of 16 the remaining terms are 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 okay so here further uh, you see that uh, here we know that uh, 2 to the power of 4 becomes 16. We write it here 2 to the power of 16 into 16 minus 1. So this, this is equals to 2 to the power of 16 multiplied by this is our 15. Okay. So after this step uh, here uh, we again need to focus on um, the exponent of 2. So the exponent of 2 is 16. And we write this exponent as 10 plus 6 and it is multiplied by 15. So here we again use uh, this uh, exponent law. So according to this law, we break this exponent and it will be written as 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by 2 to the power of 6. And this is multiplied by 15. So here as uh, you see that we need to uh, we need to find uh, these powers of 2. So here we have some uh, trick in which you easily get these uh, powers. So you know that if you have 2 to the power of 1 it is equals to 2. If we have 2 to the power of 2 it is equals to 4 and 2 to the power of 3 equals to 8. 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16. It means that you focus in the right hand side. Uh, and you see that uh, the next term is obtained by multiplying 2 to the previous term. So you have this is uh, 4. So when you multiply 4 by 2, you get 8 and 8 times of 2 becomes 16. So 2 to the power of 5 equals 2, you multiply 16 by 2 and become 32. And 2 to the power of 6 equals to, you multiply 32 by 2 and it is equals to 64. So further uh, you have 2 to the power of 7. So you multiply 64 by 2 and you get 128. And similarly in this pattern you easily get the value of 2 to the power of 10 equals to 1024. Okay. So in this way you easily get uh, the value of 2 to the power of 10. So here we need two values. So here you see that 2 to the power of 6 is 64 and 2 to the power of 10 equals to uh, 1024 so here we replace these two values here uh, so that uh, 2 to the power uh, 10 equals to 1024 multiplied by 2 to the power 6 equals to 64 and it is multiplied by this is 15 and we write this 15 as a 10 uh, plus 5 okay 10 plus 5 equals to 15 
So here you see that we need to multiply 64 on both of these terms and it will be written as 1024 uh, multiplied by here we multiply 64 on both of these terms. So you know that 64 times of 10 becomes uh, 640 plus 64 times of 5 equals to 320. And after this step here we need uh, to sum up these two values. Uh, so when you add these two values it will be written as 1024 multiplied by 960 so after this step here we need to focus on this 960 and we write this 960 as this is 1024 multiplied by here we have 960 we rewrite this term as 1000 minus 40 we know that 1000 minus 40 becomes here 960 okay so after this step here we need to multiply this 1024 on both of these terms and it will be written as 1024 multiplied by 1000 and minus 1024 multiplied by 40 okay so after this step uh, if you need to multiply these two terms and you see here when you multiply 1024 by 1000 you just add these three zeros here and it will be written as 1024 into 0 0 and 0 minus here uh, you can use the uh, traditional way of multiplication and you easily multiply 1024 by 40 without using the calculator so uh, this is very easy multiplication uh, uh, you do this type of multiplication in your primary classes okay so uh, when you multiply these two numbers then you easily get uh, the output of these two numbers becomes here 4 0 nine six and zero okay so you get uh, uh, these two terms and here we need uh, to subtract these two values and then you easily approach to the final answer so here you use that traditional way of subtraction in order to subtract these two values here i can do this step and you see here first we write this value one zero two four zero zero and zero and after that we have zero six nine zero and four so here uh, we need to subtract these two values so you see that zero minus zero becomes zero and zero minus six is not will not do this step here we carry one but here again zero so here we carry here this is four when you take carry one this will becomes ten and when you again take carry one this will becomes nine and here we carry one so this will becomes ten 10 minus 6 equals to 4 and 9 minus 9 equals to 0 and 3 minus 0 equals to 0. Similarly, here 0 is not uh, do uh, any carry here. So, uh, this is 10 and when you carry 1, it will become 12 and here you get 9. So, 12 minus 4 equals to 8 and this is 9. Okay. So finally, we have the simplified form of the given question is 9, 8, 3, 0 and 4, 0. This is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.